everyone, this is Alec again for the next in our series of videos on Vuforia. So today I'm going to show you the code for making a pan tilt servo setup move to track an object. And at the end I will show you a video of a setup that I made to do this. Okay, so first we're just going to go back to the Vuforia op that we finished creating after the second video. And so, I, just for simplicity's sake, we'll just edit that. So first we're going to need to add two servo motors. Servo pan. Tilt. Equals hardware map dot servo dot get. Mine is called pan. Next, then we'll call the other servo from the hardware map. This one's called tilt. So, currently all we're doing, if we get data from the uh, Vuforia, we're just displaying one set of it on the screen. But instead we want to actually do something with that data. So, let's make a double pan angle and double tilt angle. So this is just where we're going to figure out how much the head should move based on where the object is at the current moment. So to do this, pan angle is going to be math dot a tan two so this is arc tangent um, and we use arc tangent two just because that means if you have a zero in the denominator it will return pi over two or negative pi over two depending on whether or not it's going to negative or positive infinity rather than throwing an exception so we're going to say y and that's going to be data get calc and then this is a double array and we want the x position or the sorry the y translation for pan it's a little bit backwards to what you may expect so the y is actually going to be index 4 and then versus the z index so that will be data dot get It's going to be 5. And in case you've forgotten where the numbers 4 and 5 came from, you can look in the FTC Vuforia and it explains what all of the different indices are. So let's do the same thing again. A tan 2. But this time, instead of using the Y, instead of using the Y variable, we will use the X which is index 3, and this is still going to be relative to the z. Um, and this is because basically what we're doing is we're using just a little bit of basic trig to figure out the angle, because if we know how far away the object is from the camera and we know how far to the side, we know what angle it is. So um, just to draw you a little basic picture, I'll um, open here. So basically if this is the camera over here and we're seeing an object, this is our calculator over here, we know the angle, we know this distance, or we don't know that distance. So we know this distance, which is z, and we know this distance, which in our case is actually y. So using arc tangent or tan inverse as you may know it, um, we can figure out this angle here, theta. So that's basically all we're doing. And we're doing that in two dimensions. So in one we do z and y and one we do z and x. So now that we have those angles, let's go and say tilt, which is our servo dot set position, 
and we are going to set that to 0 0.5 plus tilt angle divided by 2. I have divided the tilt angle, or actually I'm going to divide this one by 6, and this is just in my case, the head moves very suddenly if you have large angles, so I'm just making the head smaller just for smoother motion, but that divisor there is completely optional. The 0 0.5 is because the angle can be positive or negative based on which side the object is shifted to, and so 0 0.5 is actually looking straight ahead. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. Pan, set position, and this one is minus, um, and that's just because what it considers to be a negative uh, a negative y angle for our for the servos purposes that's actually greater than five so we have to multiply the tilt angle by negative one in that case and sorry this should be pan angle not tilt angle um, so there we have it for the demo I just did this is the code that I used and so if you make a pan tilt setup it should work so now that we have the data about uh, an object's position from Vuforia. I thought that I would set up this small demo just to show how we can take that data and translate that into robot motion. So here I have a styrofoam head mounted on a pan tilt servo setup and so I will use the camera on the robot controller which is running Vuforia to track the calculator that I scanned in the second video and then we will uh, mimic the calculator's motion with the head. We'll go ahead and start the program. There we can see, as I move the calculator to the right, the head also goes to the right. Same with the left, as well as up, and back down. 